Welcome back to Maui Beach Vegan. We are going to make jackfruit seed hummus. So jackfruit, this is it. It's, this is big, but they get bigger. These, these can grow up to, I mean, hundreds of pounds. Um, this is probably, I mean, it feels like 75 pounds to me, but it's probably only like 20. Um, it has a sap and it's really interesting. You, you should, we're gonna, we're gonna harvest one of these in another episode. Um, it is very involved, it includes newspapers, lots of olive oil, because the sap, the first time I did this, I touched my face and then I, I did this and it was like gum and it was everywhere. So um, we'll show you how to do this. Uh, I think I wore gloves last time too. Um, but when you cut this open, it is so beautiful. This will make soups, it'll make breads, it'll make, um, hummus with the seeds and it makes a really the, the the jackfruit itself will make really killer uh, tacos so we're gonna explore that a little bit more later so the we've already harvested one and we have the seeds so these are what the seeds look like and right now we're going to boil them with some garlic and we're also going to put some uh, garbanzo beans in here too and I'm gonna probably boil this for about an hour these seeds turn into like big chickpeas after about an hour. So we're gonna leave that there. And I use le, le creuset, le creuset, I don't know. I was saying le, le creuset, but apparently you're supposed to say le creuset. It's good stuff, I really love using it, it's hearty. Um, this happens to be the Caribbean color. They have different colors, multiple colors, but I love using le creuset, le creuset. All right, so we'll let that boil up and then we're gonna make the hummus later. Let's do this. Welcome back. So for the jackfruit seed hummus, I'm going to make the vegetable broth. I think it's just so much nicer and cleaner than using a box, but you can use the box. Don't worry about it. Uh, but if you have the time to make your uh, vegetable broth, it's so worth it. And if you're going to farmer's markets in the summertime, freeze it for winter. Pour it into your pot. Um, just because you've got that fresh farm produce going in your freezer over the winter time, uh, wherever you're from. And uh, if you can get it fresh though throughout the winter, do it. It's so worth it. Again, I use Okoa Farms. Um, they have this young ginger. I love this young ginger. It's so easy to cook with. We're going to use onions, um, carrots. I've already thrown some celery in here and garlic. And then we're also going to add some, just a, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And then we're gonna put in just sprigs of these herbs. So we're gonna go with rosemary. And we're gonna have some basil. I like a lot. And some thyme. It's always time for time. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. I don't know. And then I really like putting lemon juice, fresh organic lemon juice. And that's a big pot, so let's go ahead and go with the whole lemon. The whole lemon. typically add a lot of salt to my stuff but let's just add some pepper and let's add just a little bit of this Himalayan salt all right we're gonna boil that for about an hour maybe an hour and a half see how that goes maybe even longer we're gonna have some really nice broth Okay, now we're gonna put the finishing touches on the jackfruit seed hummus. So remember earlier, we took the jackfruit seeds and we boiled them with some garbanzos and garlic. So that was this. That was this mixture here. And then we ended up making a really good um, 
vegetable broth. And at the last minute, do you remember when I added, um, I added all of those herbs. So basil, thyme, and uh, rosemary. But I also added parsley. I was like, parsley, you gotta have parsley, hello. Um, and then in my chopper, I've already got the chickpeas and the garlic. And what I'm going to do is add in the jackfruit seeds. And the jackfruit seeds, when you boil them, they're kind of like a potato-like, kind of like a little potato. They're really great. And then we're gonna add tahini. So I'm gonna do a quarter cup of tahini in this. One cup of the jackfruit seeds. And then maybe a half cup of the garbanzos and then maybe six cloves of, of garlic. I love stone ground mustard. I'm gonna have this. I'm just gonna do a teaspoon for now. Olive oil. Just a bit, you just need a little bit of fat in this, so I'm gonna go with like two tablespoons. And then this one's gonna have fresh basil. I think fresh basil and this hummus is so good. And then maybe two tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. And we're gonna do some fresh cracked pepper. And salt. And I think we're ready for a little bit of the vegetable broth. And, you know, you need to play with the consistency, see how you like it. So I'm gonna make mine, we're gonna make um, sweet potato chips to dip, so I really want it to be dippable. <laughs> That's not even a word, you know what I mean. Dip able, able to dip. Baby locks. <laughs> so I gave it a part. I love this. All right, let's see. <gasps> Get out. That was really good. Did we nail it on the first time? Almost, it needs a lot more lemon juice. A lot more lemon juice. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the nice touch. Needs more pepper. So lots of lemon. I'll do lots of lemon on that. I'll change that up. Boom. All right, so now we're gonna present. And so we're gonna put this in the fridge. This is nice because for tonight, it's gonna be so fun to break this out. And you'll see how we're gonna serve it tonight. It's gonna be so pretty. Especially with the sweet potato uh, chips that we're gonna make. Look at that, that's a perfect consistency. Mm -hmm. Yay, jackfruit seed. Hard to get anywhere but Hawaii or, or um, it's just hard to get on the mainland, but um, while you're here, we'll make it for you.
So a little olive oil drizzle. And I really love just a hint of paprika. And I like to also tell the story in the garnish of what's in it. So I'm just gonna chop up kind of julienne some basil. And then I'd also like to just kind of a little bit of that. And there it is. Oh, that's going to be fun. Jackfruit seed hummus, MauiBeachVegan.com.